Okay, so now I talk about the role of the head of division. The head of division is the person who is going to collect or collate all the information from the other three, division, other three divisional roles. That is the scientific officer, the marketer and a divisional accountant. They will take that information and put it together in a um, consolidated document and write an opening statement highlighting the, um, the product which is going to be um, investigated or produced in the next 12 months. It's usually only a couple of paragraphs um, and it basically takes the highlights of each of the other three, um, three divisional um, information which has been, been sent to you. The other thing that the uh, head of division does is look into intellectual property protection for the division. IP. IP is um, a way in which the company can protect their ideas or inventions so other companies can't come in and exploit them for commercial gain. Intellectual property um, is very, a very, very important issue. It's important, as I said, because it can have huge consequences um, for a company if their IP is not protected properly. You can have IP protection at a national level or an international level. The, uh, the Australian Government has a great website called IP Australia, which has lots of resources on there about how to protect your IP. It can be as, in, um, as simple as you know, trademarking a name um, or getting a patent on a particular process or branding, you know, making sure your logo is, um, is trademarked, a whole range of things like that. So it is up to the head of division to decide on um, and write the IP statement for the division. The head of division then, after they have the document with all, three, all four sections um, filled in, will then pass that information to the graphic designer who will um, put it in a consistent format, um, which will obviously hopefully be consistent with the other three divisions as they get developed, and ultimately to the chairman for release um, to me for marking at the, uh, in about week seven. So that's, how, that's the role of the head of division, is to write that opening catchy um, opening section about, you know, about the product and then also uh, delve into intellectual property protection. To help you at the divisional level, I've put up a template which is a business plan. Now, business plans are probably something that you've heard of and the Australian government has actually put up a template for a, te a business plan. So a business plan is basically what we've been discussing about when we're talking about a, a, a particular division. So to help you and to um, give you some support in what questions you should be asking about your divisional role, it's a good thing probably to use initially the business plan template which I've put up on views. So you could think about these business plan templates in that you could have one for each of the four divisions. The template is asking you some specific questions. And those questions are obviously, um, some of them will be answered by the head of division, some by the marketer, some by the scientific officer, and some by the um, uh, chief accountant. And you'll see on the business plan, I've actually um, annotated which person should be really answering these particular questions. This gives you a scaffold, if you like, for your division, um, division submission. It's a very generic type of format or template. It's not very attractive, but at least it gives you a starting point for you to collect the information that you require for your divisional submission. You can, if you want to, then 
after you've collected it in the format of the template, pass it to the graphic designer who will remove that sort of template look to the document and put the branding on that's required for um, your, particular, um, your, your particular company. You will see in that I've given some exemplars of other people's um, business plans that they've submitted um, in week 14 on the view site and you'll see that they are slightly different but it'll give you an idea of some, some of the types of format that other students have used. So if you're completely lost, the business um, plan template is on views as well as some guidelines and, and how to um, fill them out and they may help you when you're completely stuck about uh, how to um, uh, uh, how to get how to put together the information at the divisional level um, but at the end of the day you may want to extract that information and put it into a more readable more um, marketable type of document through your graphic designer